Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. I'm going to be saying this every morning at the moment but I can't believe it's day 23 already. How crazy is that? Two sleeps till Christmas. Only two more days of Vlogmas left. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, as you can see, I'm just getting ready at the moment. I just, I've done my face. I just need to, why do I look like I've got gray hair? I've just, I just need to dry my hair now. Um, Mum and Andy have just taken the cats to the cattery. So they're gonna be there for a few days. And all is calm, I think, this morning. I feel like it's gonna get hectic this afternoon when we have to start packing the trailer up. But I think everything is pretty much in hand. We did pack away a few bits last night. I've been doing some packing this morning. So I think we're pretty much ready to go. Um, my friend was due round now, but her baby didn't have her nap. So I think she's coming a little bit later now, um, but hopefully it will still be quite soon because I can't wait to see baby Freya and her and give them their presents. By the time I've seen her and she goes home, it's going to be pretty much time to pack up and go. So exciting times. I do feel a little bit more Christmassy today. I feel like yesterday I just felt a bit, oh I don't know, I don't know if down's the right word or just felt a bit stressed and a bit like I had loads of stuff to do that I didn't want to do. Whereas today my shoulders feel less burdened <laughs> and uh, I feel a little bit brighter and just really looking forward to getting to the log cabin actually. I was reading some reviews last night on TripAdvisor and they were just like really mixed, like one extreme to the other. And I don't really know what to expect now. My main thing is like, as long as they're clean and well equipped, that's the main thing. But the trouble is I feel like because we went to the tree house um, for my birthday a couple of weeks ago, I feel like that's obviously gonna knock this out of the water. <laughs> and it's not gonna compare, I don't think, at all. But hopefully it will still feel like really comfortable and really clean and nice. Those are the main things. I think I was reading some reviews from like the height of summer and people were saying like they were full of flies and they just felt a bit grotty and I just thought, oh no, that would just be the worst to get there and not be happy with it. And it was also quite expensive because it's like over Christmas and I really don't want to feel like we've thrown that money away when we could have had like a more comfortable time at home. Fingers crossed it won't be like, fing fingers crossed we'll get there and just be like this is amazing. Because the pictures do look good but then you know what TripAdvisor's like, it just put like a worry in my mind so my expectations have gone down slightly, maybe from what they were originally. Um, but hopefully we'll just get there and be really happy with it. I'm sure because it's Christmas as well, I'm sure they're gonna make like that little bit extra effort to make sure the cabins are super nice and that they're on top of everything. The only other slight issue <laughs> that there is, is that I think you can only take a maximum of four dogs and we've obviously got five, but, the way I see it is our dogs are like a fraction of the size of a normal dog. So if we were taking like four St. Bernard's, then our dogs probably would make up one St. Bernard, not even that. So I'm hoping that when we get there, the extra dog isn't gonna be an issue. I mean, I don't think they'd turn around and be like, right, you can't stay with us now, you've gotta go home. That would be awkward, wouldn't it? <laughs> And I think it's a really dog friendly place anyway, so it should be fine. Right, I'm gonna dry my hair. He likes my new slippers. <laughs> I saw these in uh, Next yesterday and I just had to have them. And I did actually say to Andy, I really would like these for Christmas, but I asked him yesterday if he'd got them and he said no. And the little Santa ones that I bought from Tesco's didn't fit. I was really gutted about that. They were a large, but I have size eight feet and that's quite big and they were just a little bit tight. They weren't really comfortable with slippers. So I, I asked my mum to try them and they were fine on her. So she's had them and I've got some new ones. Also, I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but this is um, the bedding that I got for my guest bed for like when my mum comes to stay and I love it. It's always my opportunity to get like really funny and cute like 
kids bed in um, to put on my guest bed because I can't get away with it on my actual bed and I also got my mum this t-shirt which I made her open early so she could wear in the house um hashtag squad goals and it's got all the reindeers on there and there's a little funny story behind that t-shirt because the last time my mum stayed um she asked if she could borrow like one of my just indoor t-shirts and I said yeah just help yourself I've got a whole drawer full of them and she picked out a t-shirt come downstairs and when she walked into the living room she'd picked out my grey boohoo t-shirt and it says squad goals on the front and it just really tickled me and Andy we were just like in hysterics because it was just like the innocence of it like she didn't really understand what squad goals meant either so we just laughed about it for ages and when I saw that t-shirt I was like I have to get that for her <laughs> got some mail and it's got a personalised little sticker on it and a partridge on a Mackie oh that's so cute to Sarah Andy and the furry squad Merry Christmas and here's to a very vegan 2017 lots of love from Natalie Ed and Mackie oh at TK and mate thank you so much Nat that's really cute and I love that you've got personalized cards that is just the best how cool is that where did she get these done sad clown cards oh I love that I think Christmas is a good excuse to see people or like get in touch with people that you haven't spoken mm. everything is nearly packed up and it's time to go we're a little bit later than we'd planned I wanted to be on the road at a three really and it's 25 to 4 so a bit later feels crazy we've just put everything in the trailer I took down my little minimalist Christmas tree because that's coming with us I've taken down a few decorations because I want to take those with us and now it's time to get the dogs in the car and get on the road. Show me inside the trailer, Andy. <laughs> I just feel like our whole house has been packed into this trailer. It's basically our whole house in our trailer. This is the first time I would have seen inside. I'm just dreading unpacking now. You fought your bike? Yeah, it was in there, so... It actually helps to keep everything in the place anyway. Oh my god. I can't believe you've got your bike in there as well. Yeah, why not? You never know. You've literally <laughs> just recovered from an accident and now you're going to be getting on this? No, we've got a high bike, haven't we? And then... Oh my god. There's still, I can't believe there's still room in there. Yeah, I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Have, have you put our suitcase in there? Yeah. Our pink one? Yeah, it's up in up there, there. There's no nice way without look. without this we wouldn't have got the, all of this in the car. How small does our case look? In, up yeah, the back? really and that's small. That's a massive case. We've got a Christmas tree in there. We've got all the presents, got tree, like food beyond belief. I can't believe. Just like, <laughs> this is mental. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> We have finally settled in to the log cabin and it's taken a couple of hours, more than a couple of hours actually, a few hours. Wow. Yeah, it did take a little while to get everything in from the car and unpack. It feels like we've moved house today because it was just like a lot of packing up and then travelled here and then a lot of unpacking. But we managed to get sorted pretty quickly. Um, and it's super cozy. It's actually better than I thought it would be. Yeah, I had some reservations after reading some bits and pieces on TripAdvisor, but actually as soon as we turned up, I thought, no, this is perfect. You should never do that. You always do that. I know. Before we go somewhere. Because I just like to, I like to be prepared. I like to... Yeah, know what's 
but I think all the bad ones were from the summer, and it was a, it was mainly a lot of people saying that there was lots of flies. But I think this was quite a fly summer, wasn't it? Because we had loads of flies at home and stuff as well. Excuse my crazy appearance at the moment. I just feel absolutely done in and shattered. And it's nearly 11 o'clock at night now. And I just thought I'd do a very quick room tour. Even though it's the evening, um, you won't get the full effect. But I thought if I do like an evening one now and I will do more of a like an outside log cabin tour tomorrow. So let me just show you round. So right now I'm in the kitchen and it looks a bit crazy because we've just <laughs> thrown a lot of stuff everywhere. Um, I've added some little decorations. I got these in Sainsbury's and thought they just looked really nice, just hung on the kitchen doors. This is like a fully functional kitchen really. It's got everything you need, it's fully equipped. Andy was worried about the cooker but we gave it a little test run tonight and made our Indian hors d'oeuvres and it worked really well actually. And we've got a dishwasher in there that's currently on at the moment. Bits and pieces in there. I haven't actually fully explored this kitchen yet. Fridge, freezer. Oh, you left out the churros. We was gonna eat these tonight, but we decided against it. The freezer's really small. This is the slight downfall of coming at Christmas. The fridge is quite small as well. So we've just had to like throw stuff in there. I've had to put some drinks outside. Oh, we've literally got everything in here. I haven't even looked in here yet. Cutlery, knives, what's in here? More cooking utensils, more cooking utensils. Andy freaked because he thought there wasn't like a roasting tin, but we've got these Pyrex dishes, so we can do it in there. And we've got a microwave, and we've got all our supplies up here. And this is like the dining area. There's only four chairs and and his mum and dad are coming up Christmas day so he's had to text them and say bring a couple of folding chairs <laughs> which will be fine. It's a really nice dining table though. It looks really festive. I bought our little tree off our dining table at home and then I can't really show you at the moment but this is like the back door out onto our decked area and then we've just thrown the dog beds and gate down here. And then you come into like the massive living room. It's so cozy. And when we turned up, we couldn't believe the size of the Christmas tree. It's huge. It didn't have the lights on it when we arrived. We've had to um, put them on tonight. Oh, the focus has gone really funny. Oh, it looks amazing when it's out of focus on the tree. So yeah, we had to put the lights on the tree. I bought the coloured lights myself, but they actually provided a box of white lights as well, but they were only a hundred. So I'm glad we bought the coloured lights because it's just made it look super bright and cheerful. I still can't get over the size of this tree. That tree, nice. to buy it, that probably would have been like a hundred pounds and it's real and it smells good as well. So happy. We've also got a box of decorations and we might make these in a minute actually it's so cute I love this sort of thing it's like materials provided to make your own decorations so you've got twine cinnamon bundle and yeah you just I'm gonna open that in a minute actually we should, we should do this before we go to bed yeah so yeah I'm loving the tree and with the presents underneath it just looks and feels really like Christmas now and in the corner of the room, we've got this amazing log burner. I love it when they stand like freestanding in the room like this. A couple of houses that I've looked at online have, have it like this instead of like what we've got in the fireplace. And I think it's really cool. It's quite a modern take on a fireplace. Although it's so hot in here, they've got underfloor heating, haven't they? And it's just ridiculous we've had to turn it down and we've been sat with the back door open all night because we just feel really hot but we had to put this on for like the atmospheric vibes obviously and then we've got the tv in here and i obviously added i bought these decorations from home so i've added these and the fairy lights oh yeah there's an owl up there 
That probably would have scared me if you hadn't pointed it out. So this is like, basically you walk through the front door and this is what you see. I'm really impressed. I think this is so cosy and the settee's really comfortable, isn't it? Settee. Why am I saying settee? <laughs> the sofa. The sofa's really comfortable. And they also set up Scrabble for us with this little welcome sign, which is really sweet. And we've bought a load of board games as well. We need to start playing some board games tomorrow. And I popped our little Merry Christmas banner up there as well. So cute, I love it. And I've just popped our stockings down there underneath the TV. These are actually Christmas Eve stockings that we kind of know what's inside them because me and Andy really wanted us all to have like matching pajamas for Christmas Eve. So that's basically what it is. And we're gonna open them on Christmas Eve and there's a couple of other like little surprise bits in there as well. Um, through here, this is just like the front door area. We've just got our wellies in there at the moment and it's just got like somewhere to hang your coats and scarves and bits. It's really muddy outside. We took the dogs out earlier. Oh, they also gave us these like cute little dog bones for the dogs. And then this is like the hallway. And In here you've got the main bathroom, bath shower, toilet sink, heated towel rail. It's all very nice. And this is the main bedroom. I had to bring our little minimalist tree from home so I just really wanted to have something in our bedroom. So that looks really nice in here and sets the vibe off nicely and We've got a double bed and it's really high off the ground actually, but it feels quite comfortable. Um, and then we've got our own ensuite, which is really nice. Just like a shower, toilet, sink, mirror. Feels nice having an ensuite though. And because of the cabin that we're staying in, I think this is called a golden oak. They've given us complimentary robes and slippers which is really great because we've got a we've got a um, hot tub on the terrace which we haven't really looked at properly tonight but tomorrow we shall investigate that and my mum's bedroom's next door but I can't show you because she's gone to bed already and that's it it feels a lot bigger than I thought it would it's just like really spacious and the ceiling's so high so yeah we're really impressed I think aren't we? We're really pleased with it and I'm, I'm so glad it doesn't feel like shabby or crusty around the edges <laughs> like some people made it sound on TripAdvisor. There's some stuff to do here, you can hire bikes, there's obviously lots of nice forest walks you can do which I think will be the main thing we do although we're not you know we're here for three nights we're not really here for that long so I don't think we're not like putting any pressure on doing loads of stuff because we're just here for Christmas really and obviously just want to chill and make the most of the log cabin it's a bit like centre parks but whoa <laughs> are you joking me no these Pomeranians are just getting naughtier by the day we're not really going to do a great deal we, need, we want to take advantage of the log cabin and we want to go in the hot tub and enjoy that and just chill out i feel really run down today i've been coughing all day so i'm definitely coming down with something i've had really bad backache as well and just feel really achy but I don't feel too bad at the moment, so hopefully it doesn't develop into anything worse, but I've definitely got something. I just feel it now. So what's the plan tomorrow then, Christmas Eve? And he still needs to make his nut roast. I think agenda for tomorrow is going to be a little lay-in. Oh, I need to not have to get up for anything tomorrow, really. I think that'll be the plan, get up leisurely have a nice leisurely breakfast maybe some bucks fizz go for like a nice long walk at lunchtime with the dogs come back and get in the hot tub at like 
sunset time, like three, four o'clock. Mm. We've just been so busy. I think now is just the time to like kick mm. back and not put pressure on anything. But tomorrow night we're gonna have to do some food prep, aren't we, for Christmas Day? Yeah. Bless you. I wasn't sure, because we're obviously not at home, I wasn't sure if it was going to feel Christmassy and festive, but I think it actually really does. It does. It feels really festive in here. You've done well with like, the lights and... Yeah, and that's what I thought though. I thought I've got to bring extra decorations and bits and pieces to make it feel like really Christmassy. I'm hoping we won't have to take as much stuff back with us. <laughs> So we've, we've said like we're going to kind of be on a mission to eat and drink everything before Boxing Day. Mm. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it a night because I've got to edit. And I'm going to quickly make those decorations for the trees. I might just show you that actually. And then um, we're going to be going to sleep. So we shall catch you guys tomorrow for Christmas Eve. And the last day of Vlogmas. Let's see what's in these decorations then. Oh, cute. It's got like twine. Oh, I see. So like you thread it. You thread the twine through the dried fruit, cinnamon sticks, pine cones. Oh. 